loading. Okay, folks, hi. Choco here. I am an IELTS fan. <laughs> I can't really say I'm an IELTS teacher anymore. I'm teaching um, all kinds of other things, important things, participation in whatever way I can. So I don't have much time to come back here to the tips and tricks page like I used to, but um, still love it. And I'm sorry if anybody is... Well, didn't this guy go by the name Anonymous Member? I, I, I don't think that's the right thing to do, Anonymous Member. I am with IELTS Temple, and we're going to be looking at a process diagram today. Uh, this is one of our claims to fame. One small step for a sheep, not such a giant leap for wool and kind. What am I talking about? Well, we're going to talk today about steps and stages. What's the difference? Some people say there are no differences, but there are in my mind. Uh, and our topic... Oh, oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, this diagram is going to show us the different stages in the production of woolen goods. Oh, no real complicated thing. Ah, I can see that our, I admire our candidate already. He has, or she has, uh, included the key instructions in every task one. Summarize the information. Okay. That means say, uh, describing, the, or not sorry, expressing the most important information in as few words as possible. Yeah. Uh, that means leaving anything out that's not there. By selecting and reporting the main features, selecting the main features, not any features, but the main features, make comparisons, we're real. Not so bad. Well, oh, here we are. Oh, that's interesting. Yep. Okay. So, when I get a, a process diagram, well, the thing to do is, as you say here, don't write, don't, don't, it's planned, just look, okay? Look for the process flow. How does stuff move around? Forget these pictures and the words, and just, just kind of see the process naked. As naked as you can make it, anyway. But, what's that? Oh, oh, hey, not you. All right. So, now we've blurred out our eyes and we can see the process for what it really is. A series of lines. Okay, where do the lines go? Okay, and ask yourself some basic questions. Hats off to Chris Pell, who I'm taking this approach from. Um, at least the first one I saw expressing it this way is, how many, what kind of inputs do we have? What kind of outputs do we have? Okay, what goes in? Bah, not sheep, but they're, they're fleeces. Is it a linear cycle or is it a cyclical cycle? Okay, does it have a beginning and an end? How many ends does it have? All right, and like with any task too, for the sake of making your paragraphs more unified so that each paragraph is about something, try to divide the process into two stages. If there are more than two stages. You can bulk stages together, but we want two sets of stages or two stages at least. How do you do that? Well, follow the line. Where does it go? And when does it split? It starts here, and then it gets to this point, and it goes in two different directions. Seems like the obvious point. What is that, that step called? Well, you see, these things, these pictures here, these are steps. The pre-production stage is your first stage. I just made that up. It might, if I was a shepherd, I might know when I was a wool man. I might know what the proper word is, but pre-production, pre-spinning, pre-spinning, okay? Because that's where our next stage begins. Okay? From the spinning, it becomes the stuff down at the bottom. And some of it becomes string, wool string. Hmm. And then some of that string is recycled. What? Recycled? Well, due to poor planning, uh, all of the string was cut into three inch lengths. So it's not very useful. No oh, nonsense. Okay. Here's what our candidate wrote. The process diagram depict. Now the diagram is singular and the present simple when you have a singular third person subject. He, she, it. You need the S at the end. I know teachers who will carry around a snake, a rubber snake. And when students get that wrong, they'll throw a snake at them. 
to avoid the snake by including your depicts depicts the information of I don't of does not go with information it's not a good collocation the um, depicts the multiple steps there's no information in there depicts the multiple steps in the production of wool and products okay and then our overview overall it can be noticed there that is what we call a lexical chunk that you've memorized and use at the beginning of every uh, um, over, uh, overall uh, overview okay it's a lexical chunk and it will reduce your lexical resource score to five 12 stages wow 12 um, I don't know about that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But two of them are um, definitely not stages at all. Namely, the sheep stage. The sheep is not a stage, and nor is it a step. It is just a sheep. And you actually recognize that, because your first of all is the shepherd. Do you know, I see a shepherd up there? It might be a shepherd, probably not. The shepherd lays the sheep down and starts shooing on his sheepy shears. She 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 she. The she. <laughs> okay. Um, so we know there's not 12 steps. You know, and then you then go and describe describe all of them. You're not doing any summarizing. First of all, shepherd lays the sheep down and start. Shepherd singular starts. That's twice. Shearing the sheep with shearing machine. Is that a shearing machine? Do we know that? Is that what it's called? I don't know that. With a shearing machine. And then you just do a comma instead of a full stop. You do that a lot. It's called a comma splice. But once this stage has been done, that's a lot of words you don't need. <laughs> the wool of sheep, and again, the poor collocation, placed, is placed for cleaning and drying in the open area. What open area is that? You're using the, meaning we know of it. It's been defined. And you don't know that that drying is taking place in an open area. It could be in a, a, a factory somewhere. It doesn't have to be in an open area. After, comma, after is never used by itself like that. After drying the wools, and wool is always an uncountable noun. Okay, you can't have a wool, and there are no wolves. Arr! No, that's wolves. The wolves, after drying, the wolves then spinning process has been started. So well, that's incoherent. Okay, and then here's the most important step, because it's actually the end of the first stage, and the beginning of the next stage, and it receives no transition or anything. It's just uh, the spinning process has started. Well, actually... Spinning process sounds like you're trying to identify a stage, but you don't. The spinning machine makes, it's singular, that's three strikes. Uh, these wool into strings and tufts of wool. No, you're missing a whole step there. Spinning turns it into string or turns it into wool. So that's right there, wool. They're probably confused. and tufts of wool and make them into different color machines to differentiate the spinning machine spinning machine makes them into different colors what kind of spinning machine do you have oh just just go okay <laughs> okay and then you begin your final paragraph with moreover moreover is never used in task one moreover is hardly ever used correctly in task two but moreover is about ideas Unless one stage is like super much more important than everything else, well, even then, what does moreover mean? It means yes, in addition, and more importantly. Is that more importantly? And why is the T capitalized? These wool delivered into tough storage, where these tufts shaped into different colors. Now you've forgotten all kinds of any semblance of sentence construction of small parts of yarns, comma, however, comma. The sentence will not end. And then consumers. Where are the consumers? I don't see any. There's some lady knitting some stuff, but consumers are not on the diagram. The um, 
uh, then consumers buy these yarns, singular yarn, I mean uncountable, for different purposes like, I don't use like, such as knitting, and with the help of these yarns, they make different types of woolen goods. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Like you know, carpets and jackets. You say you're looking for 6.5? Let's take a look at the new band descriptors. There they are. La, 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 la. To get a 6. The response must be focused on the requirements of the task. You do not do that. Because the requirements of the task require that you select and report the main features. Identify the main stages. You just get you just walk us through everything. Okay, um Yeah, and there's no and the overview is is is, un, is lacking. So it's not gonna reach a six. C and C are used to some good effect. No, I didn't see a cohesive device used to good effect at all. Uh yeah, the relationship of ideas can be it's a flow chart. You have to be able to follow the ideas. Yeah, so a five and a half, maybe. We can't have a five and a half. Uh, in four, you'll see it says uh, uh, lexical chunks, which is what we have. Okay, now we're done. All right, my friend, and all this time I've forgotten what your name is, but Mr. Anonymous... Uh, I hope that helps. How do I stop this crazy thing? Jane!